Welcome, welcome back everybody to the Circus Show 24-7. This is trailer number two for Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron. It premiered on a college uh, football uh, championship thingy. I don't know. I don't really watch sports. But uh, we did get confirmation a few weeks ago that it will be premiering on the 12th. So I was super excited to just, to just to see, you know, just to get like a better feel of what this movie is supposed to be about. And I gotta say, I really, really enjoyed this trailer. I like the first trailer a lot, but I, I think I, I like this trailer a little bit more because you get to a little bit more of a feeling of who Ultron is and what kind of stakes um, are going to be in this uh, in the second movie? And that's what I like to see. Just like what what's really on the line and what's going to happen. You know, not too much spoilers or anything like that. But it showed a lot more of what I wanted to see. I, I like the tone of it. I like that darker tone. We already know it's Marvel. It's going to have that humor stuff. That um, that humor and you know the funny moments. You know. You're bound to have that in Marvel movies, and and I'm okay with that. But I want to, you know, see these movies get a little, a little bit more darker and stuff. And you know, from what I've heard about this movie, and from what Josh Whedon and um and everyone else who's working on this movie has talked about, is that it takes a different tone than the first Avengers. And I and I'm been known on this channel to not like bash the first Avenger, the first Avengers movie, uh, because I did like it, and, and I understand what kind of movie it is. But I I didn't I don't give it as much praise as as a lot of people do. So this um this trailer is giving me a lot more hopes. It's really show me the stuff that I really want to see. Um, one thing I really liked about this trailer is some of the some of the lines that you get from Ultron. Um, where he talks about um he's gonna take the Avengers out from the inside. So whatever I feel like he's gonna start pitting the Avengers against against each other, and that's gonna kinda of lead off into, you know, um, you know, Captain America, like three, um, Civil War and stuff like that, because you're gonna to have to have that rift between Tony and between Cap and just have that differences because um, from what this this trailer is showing us is that you know Tony is the one who creates Ultron and that doesn't set set too well with everybody else and that's going to start pitting people against each other and you know some people are going to be on Tony's side I understand why he kind of why he made Ultron and some people are going to be on Cap's side and that I, I feel like that's what this movie is really aiming towards and I like that because you need that kind of that monkey wrench in this type of movie. So I'm, I'm super excited to, to just see what that's gonna, uh, how that's gonna unfold. Another part of this movie I, I, I really liked in this trailer was when Ultron said that um, the thing you create is what people dread the most. And I, I felt like that was just a very powerful statement. And um, and that's I feel like he's talking about Tony because, like I said, Tony is the one who creates Ultron, and that's going to probably be his downfall, and that's what he's going to be worrying about the most. So I, I really like that line. I thought it was a great line. But this trailer really has going for itself, and what's the selling point for me in this trailer is uh, James Spader as Ultron. I, I really do feel like they found the perfect person to voice Ultron. He gives it such a menacing but very calm type of of uh, manners, mannerisms to Ultron, and you, you can tell that he means what he says, but he doesn't have to like bang you over the head. He doesn't have to scream or anything. Um, so I like the way that James Spader lends his voice to Ultron. I think it's gonna be a fantastic uh, villain uh, for the Avengers to you know try to withstand. Um, but like I said, I like the total shift and everything. I do love that we we have more of the Hulk in it, and he, it looks like he's going to play a big, major role in this, and um, which is great because he was such a standout performance in the first one because they teased him a little bit, and then they gave it to you towards the end. But it looks like you're going to get way more of him. It really looks like that. Um, they're really sh selling the point that of that Hulk uh, Buster versus the the Hulk and them going at it. It's going to be a very great selling point to the movie. It still looks cool. Um, I like the fact that, you know, you have, it's like these two big, gigantic, like, beings going head to head in the middle of the street. You see people in the background watching and stuff. And so that looks like it's just going to be an intense, like, showdown. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited to see what that's going to be about, too. Um, like I said, everything in this trailer was done right. I love the tone and the music. Um, it's it very subtle, but very creepy. Um, it 
felt right. Um, and it was different. It, it wasn't like the the bongs and the boom and the ch and all that crap. It was it was very simple, but it was different. And I, and I like that. And I like this new tone that they're putting with like the Pinocchio twist um, in the, the Avengers uh, Age of Ultron trailer. I, I think it's cool and it's very smart on Marvel slash uh, DC, oh, not DC, Marvel slash Disney to, um, to incorporate. Um, with uh, these new characters that we're getting with, with like Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, though they look really, really cool, but the one I'm really most excited to see is Andy Serkis and what he plays because they kind of flashed at him a few times, I think, in this uh, trailer. And it looks like he's going to play an important role uh, in this movie. I don't know what it's going to be. I think he's going to probably be a villain for Black Panther. There's rumors. We, well, we already know that Black Panther has already been cast. There's rumors that he actually might show up in um, Avengers Age of Ultron. And that might be just a, you know, a back door to, to introduce uh, Black Panther. And maybe Black Panther's a vi um, main villain. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to see who Andy Serkis is. It looks like he's going to be a great character. He always plays great characters. So overall, I really enjoyed the tone of it, the the feel of it. Uh, I love like some of the messages that it brings. The, the voice of James Spader uh, is fantastic. Um, like I said, the selling point to me in this trailer and this movie is James Spader. Uh, like I said, I'm still super excited for everyone, but... I'm really excited for James Spader and Andy Serkis to see how they're incorporated into the Marvel Universe. So what do you guys think about uh, Marvel's uh, Avengers Age of Ultron trailer number two? Please comment below. Let me know. Uh, and as always, this is the Cirque Show 24-7. Be easy.